Hi, this is a brief tutorial on how to use the lights in Control Room A. There are a lot of lights up there, and we have two basic zones that you're going to control. The zone on the west wall, which is where the paper for photography hangs, is going to be controlled on the board and a separate set of sliders than the north wall, which is where you'd probably do a TV show at the news desk. So looking over at the console, we see first this knob. This knob needs to be set for faders one through 40, which is at the top. And that is this set, 10, 20, 30, and 40. The first 10 and probably the next four or five correspond to the west wall over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to slowly push those up and you'll see as I go in sequence you're going to get new lights popping up in different zones and doing different things. So when you have them all kind of up it paints the wall with um, white light of your own intensity, you know, choosing your own intensity. I'm going to pull all those down so that's faders 1 through 10. And then I'm going to go to 11. Number 11 is going to be for the background. Number 12 adds red. 13 adds green. And if you pull that down and push up 14, you get blue. So the first one is actually the intensity of that light. As you can see, this is fader 11 going up and down, and it changes the intensity of the blue because that is the one that is up. So these three right here are R, G, and B. So red, green, and blue. When you've got all three R, G, and Bs up, guess what? You basically get white light. It's got a little purple fringe to it. That's because of different zones. So that is fader 11, and then R, G, B, and then you can make your own color combination that you like. And that's how you do the background. The next set, I'm going to pull these down and we go over to the next uh, set of 10, which is faders 30 through 39. Actually, 31 through uh, 39. Here we go. So across the top, looking at this wall, we're going to start seeing some lights come on and off up in the grid. And these are the ellipsoidals, which are arranged all in a row. And I'm going to pull them all down. And there they go. Okay. The next series of lights is going to be here, starting with this one. These last three are the one by one LEDs. And as you go across, you'll see more of them light. So there's five of those. I'm going to pull those down. And then as we go to the back wall, we'll see that these lights work a little differently. These lights are intensity over here. And then they change color too. So they do RGB as well. And then there's a final one, which is the zoom, which is how wide the light goes. And there you see that. Actually, they have four colors in them. <clears throat> and then on the floor, the zoom changes how wide they cast that light. So the wider the light, the more diffused it is, more subtle in the background. And you could change the color of those lights as well. So that's basically it. Just remember, that first knob needs to be in the first position, up top. And then everything else is pretty much manual. And you can control all of these and get your own um, setup for the custom work that you're going to do with the uh, shoot. All right, take care.